having those individuals to call that have been there, like uh, the trainer uh, that helped me out that night, it made a huge difference. And yeah. that's one of the things I've noticed about the adjuster world and just showing up to a hotel and you get a ladder on your rack and some other guy comes up and he's like, hey, you adjuster too? I'm like, actually, yeah, this is my very first time. <laughs> I haven't even jumped on a roof yet. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, the gentleman provided his phone number, said, call me if you have any questions or anything. He wasn't working for the same insurance company or anything, but I, I just find that everywhere, that everybody's extremely helpful yeah. uh, in this community, which is great. Yeah, and it's a small community. It really is. It's, uh, you know, were you at NACA this last year? I was not, no. Okay. Um, it's a good one to go to, if, you know, if you want to switch gears here a little bit to networking and like kind of expanding opportunities. Um, NACA is a really good conference to go to. Um, there's anywhere from 30, depends on the year, uh, 30 to like 50 IA firms that have booths, right? And they will, uh, you can get in, there's a, lot, a conference app, right? And if you're like, I want to interview with Pilot, I want to interview with Alacrity and Davies and whoever, you just pick a time. And then you just show up at 1030 and sit down with the person, the recruiter or the, you know, it could be an HR person. It could be a team manager. It could be a director of operations. Um, and you interview with them, you get 15 or 20 minutes. And uh, it's a really, really, really great way. I know so many people um, that on their first time going to that one, they, they left with claims in hand, right? Or they left with hey, you know, I'm actually yeah. going to go to New Mexico after, right after this because I just was talking to so-and-so and I got my New Mexico license and, you know, they've got a lot of stuff for me to do. And then they, they just, they'd leave Las Vegas or Reno or it's going to be in Little Rock next year, which is a lot closer to you. Um, they leave and they just go straight to a new event, right? In January, not just like, you know, in July or September or whatever. Um, so attending those conferences, a lot of the IA firms um, will have like Mid America Cat has their own uh, adjuster conference, right? Just right after NACA, usually. Um, some of the other firms will have like they'll do road shows and things like that, like recruiting events and meetups and stuff like that. Any any trainings that you can go to at IA firms, even if it's something that you've like, you know, um, you kind of already know, it's still worth it. I think to go to a lot to most of those things that you can because they're it's going to reinforce first of all, your, your knowledge and you may get like, you know, the second part is, is you'll get a little bit of a different angle from the, from a different trainer, right. Who might say, might have a, a, a different way of doing a certain thing that you're like, Oh, I could totally incorporate that into my workflow. Um, plus those are also recruiting events, right? So they'll say, Hey, come to our $99 Xactimate level, you know, one course or, or whatever it is and go to that. And they're, they're looking for people that they can be, they can pick out of the class and be like this person. It's clicking with that person. We can tell they're asking great questions They're showing up early. They're chit chatting with the trainer or the manager, or whoever it is during the breaks or lunch or whatever. Um, yep. and you know, if you have assignments, they look really good and you, you know, they're, they're trying to find people that they can snag and bring in because you know, you hear, Oh, well, it's oversaturated. There's, you know, a gazillion adjusters out there. And that may be true, but there's only a small percentage of them that are, that are any Make good. It. And, and I say that right. with sadness because it's not, this isn't rocket science. I mean, it's not like, it's not a hard job. It's just, there's a lot of parts to it and it takes a long time. And a person has to have the attitude that they're not working nine to five. They can't bring in like a nine to five hourly attitude to it. It's gotta be like, we gotta get the, each one of these is a project, right? And we want to get these done as quickly as possible without as accurately as possible without losing any customer service or quality. Um, so you have to, if you, if a person shows up with that attitude, then it makes the work as easy. Right. And it's, it's never going to be harder for you than like your first storm or like your first and second storms. Um, the next time you're in that same position as you were last year, it's going to be, you're going to be like weeks into it and be like, wait a minute. I think I just got 75 claims done and that didn't seem that hard you know, what, what's different, right? And it's because you've got, you've got reps, right? You've got experience. Um, so attend those networking events as much as you can. Um, network with other adjusters, right? Keep everybody's name and number that you can. The, the guy that you meet in the parking lot, 
you know, the guy you bump into in the laundry room at the hotel, whatever, right? Because you never know, right? That guy that you met in the parking lot at the hotel, he might, you know, be like the operations director for an eye firm, right? And he could, he probably would remember you and maybe he, you know, or maybe he was your manager or maybe he was a file reviewer. Or something. You never know. And this is one of the things when you, when you go to, to NACA, you'll see, especially if you go to multiple NACAs, you'll see all the same faces, but every year they all get mixed up at all between the different firms. So, right. So if you, a lot of times what happens is, is somebody will be, you know, like a, a manager or whatever at this firm, and then they'll get a good offer from this other firm that wants to poach them. And so they slide over there and they take everybody with them. Right. Um, and they'll, mm. you know, if you, if you knew him there, you're going to know him there. Right. So gotcha. it's, and it's a small community, which makes it easy to network. I mean, you can do the, the NACA conventions like three and a half, we'll say four ish days. And I think you can probably get it all network with everybody in two days. If you, work the room. If you're a brand new adjuster working for a major IA firm, you will most likely already be covered under a blanket errors and emissions policy. You probably already pay something like five or $10 per claim for this coverage. And what is errors and emissions? Well, if you're accused of messing something up on a claim, your E and O insurance will step in and help you out. But what if you cause damage or injury on a field inspection? For example, your ladder falls down and smashes the insured's brand new Ford F-150 Lightning, then a general liability policy will cover you in that instance. Again, you likely have a little bit of protection through your IA firm as a newbie adjuster. However, if you've got a year or two under your belt and you make most or all of your annual income from claims work, then you owe it to yourself to upgrade your e &O and general liability coverages to be customized to you. And depending on how many claims you run in a year, there's a very good chance these policies will be cheaper for you with your own coverages better and cheaper, sign me up. There's only one company that provides e &O and general liability solely to the insurance industry, and that is CPLIC, AKA Kaplik. They even have drone and cyber coverages. Download the free guide all about the different kinds of insurance you as the adjuster should carry at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And with more than 700 videos, there's plenty more to watch here on adjuster TV. Don't know where to start? Just go to my videos page here on YouTube and type in a search term right here to find an answer to almost any question you have about property claims handling. And we'll see you in the next one.